The Pittsburgh Steelers face the Detroit Lions on Sunday with more questions than answers coming out of this preseason. Hello, Steeler Nation, and welcome to the latest episode of your Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate with me, your host, Pittsburgh Owen. Guys, thank you so much for all the extra subs we've had over the past few days and all the fantastic viewing numbers. It's been fantastic. We love Mark and I speaking to you, Pittsburgh Steeler fans, the best fans in the world. So, guys, are the Steelers going into the last preseason game against the Detroit Lions with more questions than answers, which obviously sometimes can be not a great thing? You really want to be set, don't you, going to this last game season, last game, last preseason game, knowing who the core, who the who your team is, and who your starting quarterback is, more importantly. But I feel that the Steelers are facing this last game against the Lions with far more questions than answers for Mike Tomlin and his staff to, to sort before that week one game against the Cincinnati Bengals, a must-win game for the Pittsburgh Steelers after they swept us last season. So obviously, what's the biggest question? The biggest question, obviously, is around the QB1 position and the battle between these two guys here. Now, is it a question? That's the big thing, first of all. Is this a question? Now, Mr. Trubisky has taken the majority of first team snaps at OTAs, at minicamp, and also in at training camp at the Trobe, and this week in training at the UPMC Rooney facility. Kenny Pickett has taken some snaps with the ones, mostly apparently in the two-minute drill and in the red, in, in red zone drills, obviously trying to prepare him to become mini Ben, maybe? I don't know. So, realistically, what is the battle? What is the question between these two? Now, the question for me is, when does Kenny start? That's the big question for me, is when is Kenny Pickett going to start? I think it is going to be sooner rather than later. Realistically, Trubisky will start week one against the Bengals. That's what I think. That's my honest opinion. I think that's the opinion of the majority of Steeler Nation and the majority of NFL insiders. However, given the calibre of Kenny Pickett's play so far this preseason and the fact that he never looks rushed, he never looks stressed, he always looks cool, calm, under pressure and can deliver when he needs to, I think there's every opportunity for Kenny Pickett to come in and play this year. I think it's actually highly unlikely that Trubisky will complete the season as the Steelers' starting quarterback and that Kenny Pickett will play and be the QB1 by the end of the season. But that's a question, obviously, that is still up in the air going into this last preseason game. Hopefully, after this game against the Lions on Sunday, we will have an answer to that question. What's the next big question? Well, the, one of the biggest questions of all is around the offensive line. Once again, the offensive line is not looking very healthy. Pat Mayer, the new offensive line uh, coach, has come in for a lot of criticism this week. People saying that he's too hung up on technique and not on the actual skill of the game, on the aggression of being an offensive lineman, and actually sorting the line into a unit. He's always coached bottom 20 NFL lines. My personal opinion would be I would love to see what Munch could do with this line. Could Munchak make this line any better? And I think he could. However, realistically, is he going to come back to the Steelers? I don't think so. So what are the questions going into this final week? Left guard, big question. And is it the lesser of two evils or the evil of two lessers? I don't know. Kendrick Green has whiffed throughout the preseason as a guard. He has stunk the joint out as he did pretty much as a centre last year. Kevin Dotson is the best bet. Now, if we look back on Dotson's rookie season, when he came in to replace the injured Matt Filer, he was fantastic. He was a mauler. He looked like the left guard of the future for the Pittsburgh Steelers. However, he has been severely hampered by a, a great number of injuries in recent seasons. So the question is, can... Well, there's two questions really, isn't there? Who starts at left guard? And for me, it has to be Kevin Dotson, which then begs another question. Can we keep Kevin Dotson fit? If Dotson can be looked after and kept fit, he has to be the starting left guard. Other questions. Can James Daniels get over that stupid statement that he made, I, I don't peak in August, and actually play to the potential we saw in Chicago? Because that guard position, that interior offensive line that we thought was not going to be the problem this year, and it was going to be the tackles, is now starting to look like a bit of an issue, given the problem over who's going to be left guard, which Tomlin says will be answered after this final game, and the play of James Daniels, which I'm upset about, has not lived up to the promise that this guy came in with as a Pittsburgh Steeler. So, can James Daniels up his game in this last Lions game to be showing, to show us, Steeler Nation, what he is truly capable of? Mason Cole, I have no questions over. Mason Cole is a rock-solid centre, and I am very happy for what he has done so far. Dan Moore, can he up his game again? Can he get back to where he was at the end of last season? Make the Keep making those improvements and those steps forward. 
I think he suffered in the last two games from the fact that he had to play one as, alongside Kendrick Green, who stank the joint out, and the uncertainty in the Jaguars game, who actually was playing inside him. Was it Dotson? Was it Green? And that can, that rotation of guards. So we need to settle on that left guard also for the good of, Ke of Dan Moore Jr., who I think has got the potential to be a very good tackle in this NFL. Chukes has been Chukes. What else can he be? He's solid, not spectacular. He's done all right. That's all Chukes will ever be, I don't think. I don't think he's an outstanding NFL player or ever will be. Now, question number three, guys. Inside linebacker. Miles Jack is a beast. He's a stud. That's not a problem. Miles Jack will start. He will be your every down linebacker. He has to be. He's the best line inside linebacker on the Steelers roster. But it's often said, as go the inside linebackers, so go the Steelers defense. Therefore, one of these three guys has got to come in and really step it up. Obviously, the biggest question is over Devin Bush. Can Devin Bush ever get back to that way he played in his rookie season? Or has that ACL injury ruined him forever? We saw, we saw some improvement in that Jags game, but not enough. He really needs to come out and step it up and show that he is that inside linebacker we saw in season one. Whether or not he will with the Steelers on that map next year, he needs to do that because if he wants to command big money in free agency and the move he wants in free agency, he has to show up as a good inside linebacker. Or if Devin Bush cannot step up, is it going to be a case of Robert Big play Spillane? Uh, Spillane looked a lot better in the Jags game. Four tackles overall. He led the, led the team in tackles. Was it four assisted, three solos? Played very well, I thought. And he's starting to come more into his own. Bit quicker than Bush. Could play well against alongside Miles Jack. Or is it going to be a case of a bit of a rotation going on with Bush and Spillane rotating in and out in a bit of an inside linebacker by committee? Another question that has to be answered. Or do we come completely out of left field? Do we go for the heat-seeking missile? The bash merchant himself, Mr. Mark Robinson. Mark Robinson is a human exocet missile. This guy loves physical contact. He doesn't shy away from it. And if you watch the Jags game over again, and you watch some of Robinson's hits, this guy hits people and they stay hit. There was a hit when one of the Jags receivers was running a crossing route in the second quarter, I think it was, or it may have been the third quarter. And Robinson read that, came out of nowhere and smashed this guy back about five yards. It was an awesome hit. I, for one, would not rule out Robinson making the 53. I really hope he does over the likes of Marcus Allen, who I think is useless. And Robinson gets some playing time in some packages this year. It could be a case of all three of these guys being a rotational basis and an inside linebacker by committee, maybe, alongside Miles Jack. Now, the last question obviously facing is, who is going to help number 56 and number 90? We cannot rely on number 56 and number 90 playing the whole 100% of every snap in every game. TJ goes all out, all out, all the time. But he cannot play 100% of the snaps. He has to be spelled, as does Alex Highsmith. Or we're going to face a situation where both TJ and Alex will be getting burnt out. So in this last game, I need to see someone, anyone, step up at the outside linebacker position and actually show that they're ready to be that first change outside linebacker, the outside linebacker number three, who comes in and supports these two. Hamilcar Rashid apparently is slotted to start. Tushka also has the pressure on him. Rondell Carter, James Vouters also has the pressure on him. Or are the Steelers going to look after this final preseason game, when the final cutdowns come, to pick up a veteran outside linebacker? This is a big question for me and one that needs answering because we cannot rely on just Highsmith and what if we're, if we're going to keep them healthy all season long. And if we don't keep TJ healthy, this defence will take a major downturn. So, Steeler Nation, so many questions still for this final preseason game and before the final roster cut down. What do you think? All those questions I've answered. Any answers you've got, stick them in the comment section. Thank you for listening. Thank you for coming on to the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. And if you've just found us, hit that sub, ring that bell, come and join the Syndicate. It's your one-stop shop, your only place to come for your latest Steelers videos, your latest Steelers news, and your latest Steelers live streams. Pick it up, guys. It's the best. Thanks for watching. I'm going to finish this as I finish everything I always do with, here we go, Steelers. Come on!